Are you like me? Do you find yourself being unfulfilled from your life and always hoping for something to come along and shake things up? Don't worry, I'm sure there's plenty of us that have felt like that before and even more of us still feeling like that right now. But what if I told you that you could change all of that with just one simple change of your mindset? Now, of course, changing your mindset is not an easy task and it is something that you would have to continually work at. It won't just happen overnight. However, if I can do it, you can do it too. So there's three big reasons as to why people statistically do not enjoy their lives. Number one, you haven't decided what is enough for you or you are always trying to achieve or to acquire more. So what do I mean by that? Rather than looking at your life and having a goal oriented mindset, which so many people have, as well as that's a lot of all that's been taught lately. Nobody talks about much of anything else other than like every time the new year comes around, it's always what goals do you have for this next year? What's your new year's resolution? What's these goals? How? And then whenever you get advice on how to get better at something, it's like, okay, set a goal as to how good you want to be and then break it down into smaller goals to get there. Everything is goal oriented. And when everything is goal oriented, it's always the next goal to the next goal to the next goal. It's never OK. When is this enough? You achieve the thing and then you're on to the next trying to achieve something else. So switch that mindset. Take it a step back. Instead of looking at it as being goal oriented and getting that next goal, that next achievement, look at it as a growth aspect. Take a look at yourself right now. Who are you as a person? And then take a look at who you want to be. How can you grow to be that person? Because who you want to be, that is your end result. That is your enough. And that's what you should be striving to do. Not just get to the next point, not just to get to the next thousand dollars or not just to get to the next promotion or whatever it may be. Who do you want to be? That is your enough point. Now, what can you do to get there? Number two. And this one's a big one that even I haven't done a whole lot of lately. You don't give yourself enough time to pursue a passion or a hobby. So if you're anything like me and many, many, many others of us out there, you have the same daily routine. You get up in the morning, you get ready for work, you go to work, you get home, usually exhausted and tired from the day because work just drains you out because it's not something that you're passionate about usually. And then you have no energy or motivation to do anything that you are passionate about or that you do want to do. And then the weekend comes and you get your day off or days off, whatever it may be. And you spend that time catching up from all the things you didn't do all week, whether it be chores or this and that, or just recovering from the week itself because you're that either mentally or physically exhausted to where you just don't have the energy or motivation to do anything that you want to do. That's something that you need to change your mindset on whether it be changing jobs into something that won't tire you out as much, if it's too physically or mentally exhausting, if you need to switch that, or if you need to maybe cut back hours a little bit, if at all possible, or even if it's just a matter that you just need to put yourself in the mindset of like, hey, I just got out of work, it's five o'clock, I'm exhausted, but I've really wanted to do this thing. You need to push yourself to go and do the thing. It will make everything a lot more fun. And even just for me today, like I have been recording videos all morning. This is the third or fourth one I'm working on right now. And I'm having so much more fun with my day today. And I feel a lot better about myself, especially because two of the videos that I've recorded so far, I've had written and scripted and just waiting to be recorded for months. And now I'm finally doing it and I'm feeling really good. So just give yourself the time, push yourself to do it and go do the thing that you've been wanting to do. I promise it will make you feel better. Number three, this is a big one that has just taken over society as a whole ever since the social media age began, but you are comparing the wrong things. Social media was not invented and built in the first place to compare yourselves to somebody else's life and to see their life and then think of how crappy yours is compared to theirs how much better yours is compared to theirs. You're never supposed to compare yourself to somebody else. Your story is your story. So comparing you to somebody else's story is not going to help you in any way. And it, more often than not, it leaves you feeling down and like you're missing out on something. 
the only thing you should be comparing is the you of yesterday to the you of today. Are you the person you want to be? Are you doing the things that you want to be doing? Have you achieved your growth goals to become the person that you want to be and that you're meant to be? Don't worry about what little Susie from down the street is doing. Live your life, live your story. Social media was built for people of like minds to connect to one another from around the world because you're not gonna find a ton of people in your neighborhood or in your city that are just like you and have similar mindsets. But when you expand that scope to around the world, you're gonna meet a lot more people. And that's how you can grow friends and grow relationships. and You can see and do more things. Thankfully, I've learned these lessons over the last probably year or so as I've been changing my outlooks on things. Although I do get caught up every now and then and I catch myself always looking at it from the old viewpoint and then I have to correct myself and be like, hey, wait, slow down. That's a goal oriented mindset, not growth or, oh, you're worried too much about how many views they got instead of you. And I need to just take a step back, reevaluate everything and get my mindset right. It takes work. It takes effort. It's something that you have to work on. But over time, it gets a lot easier. And over time, you'll be a lot happier and get a lot more fulfillment from life. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you get more out of your life. And let this be the excuse for you to go take that trip that you've been planning or been wanting to go on to quit the job that you hate and move on to something new. It's time for you to take control of your life. If this did help, please leave a like and share it with a friend. Maybe it can help them too. Make it a great day, my friends. I will see you next time.